Today, my friends, I got a super cool tool for you that we're gonna check out today. This is the all new Ryobi 40 volt two stage snow blower. However, I do wanna let you know there's going to be two parts of this review. The first one is the hands on, it's the specs, it's showing you all the stuff that this has to offer. And then if we can get any snowage, which has been like 57 degrees in the last couple of days. But once we get some of that sweet, sweet snowage, we're gonna use and abuse this thing and see if it can blow the snow 55 feet like the claim. I guess you can call it a two-stage review. Crack myself up. Let's get the review going. So right off the bat, just looking at this thing, I will tell you, it's pretty freaking impressive. Just like your conventional gas two-stage blowers, this thing is pretty freaking beastly. Now on this, you have a clearing path of 24 inches, but you have a depth of 21 inches. So you can move a lot of snow with this. Now everything around the front here, all metal. Your augers, they're all steel. All around here, the box, all steel. This right here feels like maybe a 10 gauge to me. It does feel super sturdy, but I will say not as thick or heavy duty as say my Aaron's gas blower. Now you gotta keep in mind because this is battery operated, you do have to bring down the weight a little bit of this machine so it doesn't kill the battery juice right off the bat. So this is one of the things you're gonna have to remember that the metal is a little bit thinner, but that said, it's still very solid. Now, even though pretty much all of the box is metal all the way up here, this right here, your chute, this is also all metal. Everything up front, except for this right here where your light bar sits, is all metal. Even on the bases down here, even though this is a plastic, this is all metal down here. Your framework up here for your handles, are all metal. So there's a lot of metal on <laughs> this. I keep saying metal. There's a lot of metal on this snowblower. And that said, there's also a lot of plastic on the snowblower. Let me show you. Pretty much everything up on top by your control panel is made out of plastic. There is some metal, but mostly a heavier grade polymer style plastic. Now your handlebars right here are heated, and I'll talk about that here in a bit, but these are also metal. These up here are plastic, but these also heat up. Now the bulk of the plastic areas sits right here by your battery compartment, but I will tell you it's a very solid heavy duty plastic, and I don't think you have to worry about this. And all in all, it's protected pretty well, so I don't think you're gonna have to worry about busting into this and damaging anything. I do wanna point out, even your clearing shovel right here that you could put right there like so, that is all a heavier duty plastic. And even your shoes that you usually have made out of metal are a very hard rubbery plastic. So here's the thing. I get a little bit worried about those being a plastic because if you're going up against concrete or pavement, those could wear down. However, if this is moving along across snow or ice, you shouldn't have to worry about it. That should be an actual lubricant. However, I will tell you that the bolts that are used to hold these on actually did not arrive in the box, which I was kind of bummed out about. So I went into the toolbox, grabbed my own, threw them on and did it that way. But you definitely want to make sure that you got the bolts for this. Let's talk about the control panel, shall we? So this control panel right here is actually really cool. Check it out. So I'm gonna give you a bird's eye view right here. Over here is your shoot angle. So if I bring that down, you can see that this is gonna come down right here. Check it out. And that's real nice like and such, but you done also gotta shoot rotate right here. So you see if I take this and come down, and go back up, or somewhere in the middle, or somewhere right here, or somewhere right here, or right here, or right here. And you can see that it's moving like so. Yeah. Yeah. Now these two buttons right here are very cool. These are your lights. I really do like these LED lights. It's not just one up on top. You got them down there. You got them both right here. And it really does a good job illuminating. And it's that bright, bright white. It's not that soft yellow. And this button right here turns on your heated grips. These things actually get pretty warm down here, under here, even up here, it gets real nice like. So what this means is the next blizzard that we have, when I send my wife or very small children out to plow the driveway, they won't freeze. I know, I know, you don't have to tell me. I'm a good person. Oh, by the way, if you forget to shut these off, they will turn off themselves and it takes about a good minute for them to warm up. You also have the speed, the forward and reverse for your machine to move and you have your auger speed. So it's a variable speed. If I wanna bring it down, the auger is gonna go slower. If I bring it up, it's gonna spit out that snow faster or somewhere in the middle. However, if I wanna start my auger, this is what I have to do. So I'm just gonna come over right here. I'm gonna push the auger lever down and we'll put it on high and I'm gonna hit start.
Now let's bring her down in speed. Now, of course, what is cool about that is if you don't want to blow snow over into your neighbor's yard, you can bring your auger speed down. Me, don't really care about that. And matter of fact, I prefer blowing my snow into my neighbor's yard. Don't care for them very much. However, the one thing that I know straight out of the box is check out these bad boy tires. Yes, they're pneumatic. These things are awesome. You're looking at about 16 inches worth of meaty tires. Look at those nubby nub nubs right there. I already done took it out mud bogging. Oh yeah, and before I forget, you can adjust this handle for height. I mean, look at these right here. Even on my gas blowers, I got smaller wheels and tires, but look at my hand compared to this. And I got the man to man hands. This is really gonna help me get through that thicker stuff, that thicker snow, whether it's power or that wet, moist snow. This is gonna be awesome. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these batteries real quick. Now, the one thing that irks me just a little bit is I wish this would stay open when I open it, but it doesn't. It always wants to come down. There's no like latch or anything. So that's kind of like, you know. But with this blower, you're going to get not one, not two, but four 6AH batteries. And you could put four batteries into this snow blower at the same time. However, only two batteries work at the same time simultaneously. So this one here and this one here will work together at the same time. When these die, these two will kick in or vice versa. So basically what I'm saying here is you can't put a battery here and a battery here or a battery here and a battery here. You have to have one on this side, one on this side, so two all together or two on this side. And then right here, when you go to hit any button, so if you hit start, go like this, go like this, you're gonna see these kick up and it's gonna tell you, you got on pair B, a full charge, pair A, a full charge. When one of these start running down, then it's gonna switch over to the other one, but also tell you a low battery. Now this will also shut off completely if you're not using this thing. So you don't have to worry about the battery life completely draining. Let's talk about these batteries real quick right here. Now say, unfortunately, you run out of battery power on two of your batteries and then it switches over to the other set of batteries. Well, what's cool about this is they'll give you a dual battery charger and it's rapid. That means you could throw two batteries on here and charge them in about 60 minutes. That's not too bad considering these things are huge. Come on. Now I do want to let you know that yes, absolutely, you can run this auger without moving this. So you just hit the start button. If I want to move this without the auger going, just bring down this handle. Or say I want to actually blow snow while I'm moving. Well, I'm going to hold this down, hit the start button, and then go. Now, as much as I'm loving some of these features here, there is one thing that kind of bumps me out. On the wheel itself, a lot of the gas snow blowers, you can actually pull out a pin and it only swivels that one wheel. It makes it a lot easier to turn. On this, however, you do not have that option. Yeah, these wheels are basically stationary. So unfortunately, if you want that really tight turn radius, you're not gonna get it with this. It's gonna be a little bit more of a struggle. The other really cool thing about this, it is 40 volt brushless no brushes in this snow blower. All right, just real quick, let's talk about moving this thing. At first, if I'm on full speed or low speed, it doesn't matter, it gives a little bit of a punch. So it's, there's more torque, right? Because there's battery. But if I push down on this, it's pretty quick. Oh, I wish I had snow. And this is the slowest you can go forward. So pretty control, very slow. So nice. So all in all, what do I think about the snow blower? Well, as far as it goes with blowing snow, I just don't know yet. You're supposed to be able to blow 55 feet away. This is a two stage. So that's pretty damn impressive. Now, as far as the runtime goes, that's a hard one. And I'll tell you, it's really gonna depend on how thick, how moist your snow is, and really overall, how hard you're pushing this thing. However, I will tell you that once we get a lot of snow age, and I'm sure we will this month coming up, we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna find out. So, you know, it'd probably be beneficial for you to uh, get subscribed. I really do like these LED lights. It's not just one up on top. You got them down there. You got them both right here. And it really does a good job illuminating. And it's that bright, bright white. It's not that soft yellow. However, I will not go as far to say this is a professional grade snow blower. This is definitely a DIY or homeowner snow blower that I think will do a really good job. Hopefully. There were a couple little nitpick things that I picked out. But other than that, it looks cool. And I'm hoping it runs awesomely.
Oh, FYI, if you plan on picking this up at the Home Depot, you're probably going to have it assembled. But if you have it shipped to your home, you're probably going to have to do a little bit of the assembly yourself. It wasn't hard. It took about 30 minutes and everything other than the shoe bolts came in this, including the battery. So you don't want to throw those boxes away right there to move the snow with it. And if you're an awesome person like the subscribers of this channel, you know that I will be back shortly as soon as we get some snowfall and put this thing to the test and see what it can and can't do. I got high hopes. So there you go all. That is your first look at the all new 40 volt Ryobi two stage snow blower. I believe this is the first channel that had this up. So if you could, please sneeze that like button. You appreciate it. I always appreciate you stopping by. And with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.